Hi, I'm Dr. Adams, and I'm a clinical geneticist and director of the Lysosomal Storage Disease Program at Atlantic Health System. Today I'm here to help address the community's question concerning the different types of Fabry-related pain and what you can do to help manage them. Pain is something almost all people living with Fabry experience. It's one of the most common symptoms. In fact, about 50 to 70 percent of people living with Fabry experience some kind of pain. However, each person living with Fabry is unique and may feel pain differently from others. For instance, the frequency, severity, and location of pain may be different from person to person. Although the most common place for pain is in the hands and feet, some people may have it all over their body. What causes pain in people living with Fabre is still uncertain. It's thought to stem from a buildup of certain substances within nerve cells that the body has trouble breaking down. This causes the nerves not to work properly and in turn may lead to nerve damage, which can cause pain. Often, people describe Fabry-related pain as burning, stabbing, tingling, or agonizing. To better understand the pain associated with Fabry, researchers have sorted pain into four main types. The first type of pain is called pain attacks and affects almost half of people living with Fabry-related pain. The second is pain crisis. This intense pain can last hours or even days. The third type, called evoked pain, is brought on by something that wouldn't normally be painful, such as a light touch. And lastly, there is chronic pain. About 17% of people living with Fabry-related pain have this type. No matter what type of pain you have, I understand that it can have a big impact on your daily life. It can take a toll on your mood as well as the physical activity you can do. Although what causes the pain isn't well understood, we do know certain things can set it off. These are called triggers and may include certain foods like coffee or alcohol, exercise, tiredness, emotional stress, high or low temperatures, rapid temperature changes, and illnesses like the flu. Speaking with your health care providers is key so they can help you develop an individualized and comprehensive management plan to help you recognize your triggers and figure out ways to avoid them. They'll also want to know how often you have pain, what it feels like, and how much it disrupts your daily life. Your health care providers may suggest you keep track of this information in a diary or journal or using an app on your phone. They may also ask you to complete a questionnaire with pain-related questions or have you rate your pain on a scale of 0 to 10. You may also be asked to do a test to see how you respond to various sensations like hot, cold, pinpricks, or a light touch. Once your healthcare providers get a better understanding of your pain, they'll discuss ways to help manage it. Management and treatment will depend on what type of pain you have, which parts of your body are affected, and what medicines you may be already taking. Your pain can be managed in a few ways. These may include medicines to help reduce or prevent pain or treat Fabry disease. Other ways may include non-prescription approaches such as lifestyle changes, like drinking plenty of fluids, and avoiding triggers. If you'd like more information about Fabre and pain, download our brochure. It's located in the Pain in Fabre section under Fabre Resources on Fabre Connect. You can also sign up to join the Fabre Connect community. You'll learn about new videos and resources that become available on the site. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next video requested by your Fabre community.